too open. <laughs> too open. crowd at the Carver Arena is ready for a rematch on homecoming as Benoit Benjamin and the Creighton Blue Jays square off with the Bradley Braves. Hello again everybody, I'm Frank Bassoni and this is Mike Dimmick and we welcome you to this homecoming matchup. Mike, they did it once before this year and a few times earlier but the question is can Bradley again stop Big Ben? In three years, the Braves have really done a pretty good job with Benoit Benjamin. You never know, though. The guy's capable of scoring 45 points in one game. He's done it this year. Came back and scored 43 to death. He can be trouble. So can number 22, Vernon Moore. He's averaging 22 points a game. The Braves are faced with double trouble today. To lead goes 6'10". Clayton and Blue with the ball. And we're underway. Sit back and watch homecoming. The Bradley crowd stands. Bradley starts man to man. Interesting, Frank. That's the kind of defense that Benoit Benjamin's been exposing all year long, and he doesn't get that. Right there, Benoit Benjamin <laughs> starts with a dude. Oh, nice scene, man to man pressure. Vernon Moore is 22, double zero, pin. Benjamin. Well, he shot 10 times the first time Bradley played him. Now he shot two in a minute. That's real three. How did Benjamin get 45 and 43? He said they played man to man. Percy Hawkins tries to answer, and Benjamin has four points and a rebound. Jordan Moore dribbles as high as anybody you'll see at 6-2. Inside Benjamin, three in a row. Six. And out of Creighton, six. That was easy. Man to man, when, when the other man is seven feet, and as talented as Benjamin is becoming, just is not going to work. And it's only taken about two minutes to find that out. <laughs> Gary Swain will be the guy to watch because he's a zone buster. Reggie Morris is a pretty good shooter, too, so watch him. Mob inside to Benjamin, and he is tackled by Derek Parks before he can shoot a layup. It's a two-shot foul, and Benjamin understood it. Well, what the heck? At least he didn't score a basket, which is better than the other three possessions, and that's what it takes. Set up zone. Moore is the kind of guy who likes to penetrate against zones. He is not scared of going into a 2-3. Gary Swain shoots over the zone, and Creighton hasn't missed. This is why Bradley has struggled, or at least been so-so. Parks goes inside and walk, trying to fake against Benjamin, and there's another thing that doesn't show up in the box score that the big guy gives you. He is intimidating. Creighton averages 78 points a game, and the opponents average 73. Reggie Morris stopped and then pulled it. Bradley may need a timeout here, Michael. They are just red hot right now. You have to figure they can't keep this up that long. Six for six from the field for Creighton. 100%. Bradley's nine behind in homecoming game. Jim Les dropped down to Hawkins, who threw it way over the board. And Williams and Benjamin go after the ball. Inside Williams. Spake steps in against Benjamin and blew it. That is, what, three air balls for the Braves in the first four minutes. Benjamin is just changing everything. This is homecoming. Three, 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 two, Swain, the ball. He's got a 10-footer. Landreth ball. Boy, everybody pulls up and just hits. Ball is not a great shooter, but now he puts one in. The ball is inhaling the basket. It's a magnet. 16 to 3. Four with right. He does not shoot deep shots. Swain, beautiful drive. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Benjamin interfered with it. It will not go. That's a good call by Jim Murphy. Yo, look at Willis Reed. He's mad at Benjamin. Watch it. Here comes Swain go 
run all the way. There's no doubt this is going to be a basket, but watch what end of the basket interfered with. He's probably getting underneath the net and pushed it back up. I don't know why he did it. I think he's the entry to Benjamin, and he scores. I still think if that's 10. I think Creighton's still flawless from the field. Now they've missed once. They missed one. Wow. They should probably put that guy on the bench. Not as thus far, and, and Powell really hasn't had that much time either. 13 minutes as Powell is rejected and fouled. Whoa! Donald Powell and Benjamin had some words, and looked like Benjamin swung an elbow. I give Powell a lot of credit. The freshman from Oklahoma took the ball right at him, and he didn't back off. He's still giving him the eye. Team foul on the Blue Jays. Willis Lee is peed. Well, maybe this will help spur the fans and the Braves. They need something down by 13. Moore outside and Swain in the corner. Nice D by Hawkins and Banks. Oh, oh, oh. Reggie Morris pops. It's 20 to 6 against the team that Bradley's already beaten on the road. That's four for Morris. And give Creighton a lot of credit. They are getting together. This crowd will go crazy. Here comes Powell. Block. Again, Benjamin is just something. He has really taken this game over on both ends. Maybe more defensively than offensively. Into his zone. They're going back to man to man now. Boise's well, got to get some shots. Bankston's got one and Benjamin sw Whoa, that's got to be Golton. No. Let's knock it in. Baroni came ripping out of the, his chair. Well, <laughs> well, getting shooting free throws. He's slowly getting back up there. He's shooting about 57% now. He missed, but Boise Winters tipped it in. And Bradley closes to 11. That's the closest they've been in quite a little while. Willis Reed just got a tee. And there's the technical. We were just talking about it. And there's the first time I saw Danny Crawford get one. <laughs> and I didn't think Willis would be the one to get it. He, oh, really he may earn another one. Well, he's out of the box. He was already out of the coach's box before. Let me tell you what Al McGuire said about the coach's box. He said there's a lot of coaches that'll hurt. Lou Carnesecca, Bob Knight, Roly Massimino, Jim Valvano, and Dick Versace. He called Versace a Shakespearean performer who gives you the soliloquy from Hamlet at least once a half. <laughs> well, Les knocked in the free throw. I tell you what. Willis Reed wasn't giving anything from Hamlet. <laughs> you better believe it. Hamlet didn't know those words. Uh-uh, it was more Dick and Jane. And Les made a move. Bradley's within nine points. They could get within seven. Bankston slips in. Great play to Hawkins! And he missed it, and that was Benjamin again. Bankston comes back. Who's got it? Bradley's Hawkins! Foul on Bradley. Versace gets up and claps. Dick might be in a position today where he'll have to get 10 fouls out of his two centers just to stop Benjamin. It's heading that way right now as you watch him continue to challenge Benjamin inside. Tim Bankston's really been a breath of fresh air in this game, I think. He's made some mistakes. He's maybe been a little too aggressive, but he's made some things happen. My players are beginning to get a little better feel on how to handle Benoit inside. Long pass to Grappato Spears. Bradley kicks it away. Hawkins on the move to Bankston, to the driving, Boysing! It's Bankston again, Timmy, Hawkins! Oh, another pass that was just a beauty by Timmy Bankston, about a 25-foot bounce pass. The Braves four behind. They trail by 16. There's Bankston again! Three on one! Time on Pate! Bradley's within two! Swain is free. Tipped in by Benoit. Benjamin. Great play by Benjamin. He has a dozen. That helps us stop. Mike Williams! Oh! Nothing called there on a collision between Williams and Benjamin. It's Bradley's ball, I believe. He really set the tough post. 
grabbed inside Swain. He just squares up so nice. He's got that textbook shot, half a dozen. Pretty good player out of Dallas, actually. The entry is in. Boise turned, blocked by Ben, with three fouls to block. And traveling on Bradley, a tough break. Bankston fell down. Here's a look at what happens. Watch Boise come in, takes the one dribble and goes straight up. It's just not a fair match. Benjamin is too accomplished a shot blocker. That's where Bradley wants Benjamin, deep in the corner. Vernon Moore again. Well, I'm really kind of surprised they took that with 11 seconds. Now there's eight. Bradley will get a shot if they know how much time's left. Four, three. Hawkins does, way outside, no, that's halftime. And the score is Creighton, 37, and Bradley, 28. We'll be back with homecoming halftime in just a moment. I'm wondering what that was. I heard that in my ear. I thought you'd <laughs> chewing on your mic. More lobs across to Reggie Morris. Uh, they are just shooting a great, great percentage, and Bradley's going to have to cool them off, or they'll lose. It's going to be important for Bradley in the perimeter game to loosen up that inside some. Vernon Moore moving with the left. There's his entry pass to Benjamin. Not so sure Ben didn't shoot that downhill. Six. Remember the star of that game? Bobby Gray. Wow. Where is he now? There's the shot by Morris. Yes. Reggie Morris has hurt Bradley. He's got 10 already, averages but 8. And when it comes down to the end of this game, if it goes like it is right now, guys like 16, 17 footer. Mike Williams steps in. Block. Benjamin. And again, the Bradley coaches and fans are furious on the non-call. The space between your hand and the basket gets much smaller when you have to go up against Benoit Benjamin, even when you're as big as Mike Williams. And here you get an idea of what it's like. Benjamin was seven block shots today, and he is just bringing this into an heart when you think about the fact that he is just a college junior. Gone at Tulsa, McDaniel and Sherrod are gone at Wichita, etc. <laughs> Wait a minute, 11.20, they're passing the ball around. The horn is blowing at half court. I think we have a technical foul. Who did not? Number 10. Moore Creighton did not check in. Brad Johansson, our statistician, tells me that's Renard Edwards, a sophomore from Chicago Providence St. Mel. That's a technical foul against Creighton. That will be one shot and the ball. Renard Edwards. Edwards is a sophomore, as you mentioned, out of Providence St. Mel. He missed last year to work on his on his studies. I thought we had roller derby here or something with the horns just going off three or four something? times. He was the most valuable player, Renard Edwards, in the Illinois High School All-Star game here. Jim Less missed. Jimmy May. 48 to 40, Creighton, 11-20 left in this rather bizarre second half. Benjamin still with three fouls. The force, the enforcer for Creighton. In it goes. Mike Williams blocked by Benjamin. Eight blocks. He's too much. Oh, a nice play by Jim Les and stole the ball. Here he comes on the fly. Pull up one-hander. Oh. Big Mike Rebound. 11 for Mike Williams, and again, the fans get into it. The Braves are only down by six. He is not going to handle it either. <laughs> Bradley's zone. Big Ben lost it. But he got it back and scored. The ball is man. He sees Boise for the stinger. A dozen for BW. And he's within six again. Lob inside. Nice defensive play by Benjamin. He read it and stole it. And Boise, as soon as he let go of it, started looking back at the bench. Well, again, the ball fake right there would have really helped because Benjamin would have been way out of position. Ooh. Creighton nearly lost one along the baseline. Run the 
that's the first lob going to be thrown for a dunk in this game. Boise or Benjamin, who's going to get it? Vernon Moore wheels in. And a dunk by Benjamin that won, came late. I think Williams just fouled out. 20 seconds on the 45 second clock. The Braves might want Edwards to hold the ball. If you go over a 40 minute period, he averages about 10 turnovers a game. Ball oh, missed the dunk. Almost got himself a tee for hanging on the rim. Left goes inside. Boise's free. It's a three point game with 7 12 to play. They're really scrambling now on defense. Under seven minutes. Benjamin! He lost the handle and still guided it in. 22 for double zero. Who will answer? There it is. Boise winners, the first lob dunk of the game. You were betting on winners to get it. You just want some money, I guess. Is not a good ball handler. Let's see if when he gets the ball, Bradley pressures him. He lobs inside and Powell stole it and fouled. Fouled out. I'll tell you what. Donald Powell is gone. Donald just told Dick he elbowed him. Powell out. Dick Versace. They don't get it stopping Benjamin to the basket. This is about 15 feet out. As you watch it come inside, Donald is overplaying the ball and with the weak side hand, apparently leaning on him. And now Dick Versace and Tony Baroni have a dilemma. Dick Versace just said to Jim Murphy, you're not going to call another foul the rest of this game on Ben. Jim Les moves in. Two points. Goal tending on the big guy. Reed doesn't have a harness on Benjamin. He tells him, go after anything you think you can get. Sometimes that's going to end up in goaltending. Les had 14. Look how they won't guard Parks at all. Now Benjamin comes out. Well, he shouldn't shoot anyway. And the man. A great. And a foul on ball holding Boise Winter. And the crowd roars. <laughs> and Dick Versace is holding up the number one. Play to 444 at home to get one foul called against Creighton. <laughs> can you spell facetious? <laughs> no, but I can spell bad. Bradley <laughs> stays zone. It's worth the clock down to 15 now. As soon as Bradley goes man to man, they'll just zero it inside to that man. And Benjamin has built the total to 27. Now Bradley's pressure must take effect. It's a trap on the half court. And Les makes the steal. Bradley's got a chance. Up ahead. Oh, Benjamin stole the walk. He did steal it, and he did walk. Great try by Les to get the ball over him, but that's like throwing it over a couple of like this. Well, he's two out of three. If he misses this, he'll have half of it. No, you're right. Oh, a long rebound to Brayton, but Moore fell down and walked, and he just yelled at Tim Bankston. And Bradley shoots for a tie. The players walk to one side of the court. The official and the ball go to the other. What else could happen? <laughs> I think indicative of this game. On their feet. 242 left. 58-56. Bankston. Jerry Thomas is blocked. Jerry Thomas is blocked. Both times by Benjamin. 
I'm in trouble. <laughs> 140 left. Creighton stolen by Bankston. Here he comes. Tie. Did we say it or did we say it? Long lob to Morris. They want Benjamin. 17 left. Oh. Bradley has it. Bankston brings it up. What a game. It's a homecoming special. 105 to go for the Braves have to take a shot. Bradley's only got one timeout left. Here we go. There's Boise. Hawkins. Let's see if it counts. No! It does not count. Not a, remember, no free throw either. Apparently, they called it there right before he went up. If you're in the NBA, that's continuation and it counts. In college, they'll say it didn't count. And so they'll take it in bounds. Bradley will get the clock, which means they can hold it now, I would imagine, for, their, for the rest. And Bradley, who has never led in the game, would have if Hawkins shot would have been allowed. The clock is off. The 45 second shot clock is off. 22 seconds in the game. We're tied at the Civic Arena. Bradley's going to try to take a shot at the end and win it. Wow. Landreth Boss watching Boise winners down low. 12, 11, 10, 9, Bankston, 6, 5. Boise winners, a long, long shot. Rebounded by Benjamin overtime. Bradley outscored Creighton in the second half, 30 to 21. We have five minutes of overtime. Remember, Bradley will have to play the overtime without a center. Mike Williams, Donald Powell, both have fouled out. Remember another thing, only two team fouls on Creighton means Bradley will take the ball out unless it's a shooting foul. Boise, Bradley still doesn't lead, and Benjamin has it. Bradley can't get the lead. Overtime. You're watching on Channel 25, W.E.K. Peoria. Landreth ball knocked it off the window. It counts. He's got a chance for a three-point play. They have to shoot that. He does. <laughs> the game is tied as Jim Les has 16. That's probably a season high. Bankston over talking to the coach. The lead goes back to Creighton, 61 to 60. Landreth is shooting into a lot of arms behind the basket. He made them both in the clutch. Bradley has committed 21 fouls. Creighton only 11 fouls in the game. I'm sure I heard it. Yeah, he did. 135. Inside ball. He's missed all up, but he got it right back. And he got fouled. He missed a point blank shot. And Jerry Thomas, I think, fouled again. The Braves are just getting over that dead shot. And it's not their fault. Bruce Gordini and Jerry Thomas are just not equipped to try to keep up with the Benjamins and the Boss. And right now, when the ball's getting inside, they're out of position. There's not much they can do. If he makes these two, Creighton could have a three or a four-point lead. If he makes one of the two, it's three. Bradley's in trouble. There's only a minute and a half in overtime. Remember, they get a timeout given to them because there's an overtime. But they ran out and had a timeout for overtime. Bradley's four behind. Need a basket and a steal. Let's see if they can do it. Creighton will stay down in the zone. Boise Winters is inside. He got it. There's the basket. Bradley wants timeout. They got it. We'll be back with the final 117 in a moment. A shooter, but obviously Dick has something else to buy. Nine of 13 with Benjamin's duty at the line in the game. Oh, he stuck that one in and pressured. Creighton by three. Every time tonight they needed a shot, they needed a couple of free throws, they needed a rebound. Just needed points. Benjamin's done it. He's looking at 29. And 
a four-point Creighton lead with only a minute five. Bradley's back is against the homecoming wall. Now a minute. Bankston wheels in. Got it! Bradley, no timeouts. They have to immediately prep. And a foul will have to be coming here. Swain is fouled by Jerry Thomas in the backcourt. One in bonus for Gary Swain, who is an 81% foul shooter, 47 seconds in overtime. And Creighton with the advantage. Back at half court is Benjamin on your picture there in the middle. That's Swain. He got it. Give him credit. They don't blink under the pressure. Only seven for Swain in the game. There's a 24-point a gamer in high school. The clock is Bradley's problem, 47 seconds. Swain nailed two. Can Bradley answer again? Last time, Bankston took it in. This time, he slaps it into Thomas, who is rejected by Benoit. And that may do it. At Peoria, after losing to the Bradley team in Omaha, Bankston comes reeling down the court. He's going to go all the way and dunk it at three. 71 to 68 is the final. And Nick Versace hustles over to congratulate Willis Reed and the Creighton Blue Jays up their impressive record to 16 and 6. They go 5 and 3 in the conference. And we'll come back at the Carver Arena in a moment.